Here at Slack, we are exploring science on the biggest, smallest, and fastest scales. Originally, Slack was an acronym for the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. A group of physics professors got together for this huge experiment to build a long two-mile accelerator where they could smash electrons to look for subatomic particles. But now we are the Slack National Lab. That changed in 2008 because our focus has switched into the X-ray science that we do today. We had this two mile long accelerator. What do we do with it? What we do now is we can take those accelerated electrons and wiggle them and the change of direction of those electrons produces X-rays. So one of the constraints is actually the heat management of the system. So the coldest place is here at Slack at our cryo plant. The cryo plant is allowing the linear accelerator to accelerate the electrons that will in turn help us to produce the X-ray to observe the molecules at the end of the tunnel. And we're very proud to operate it for the Department of Energy. At 2 Kelvin, Thank you. that allows us to operate 10,000 times brighter and 8,000 times faster. LCLS2 really is the brightest X-ray source that humanity has seen. It is important because if you want to look at very, very small detail, you do need that amount of light. I love that excitement about coming to work every day to seeing something new. And LCLS definitely is one of these places and there's new discoveries that are being made and it's absolutely fascinating. <laughs>